All right, so this is pretty exciting. It's a big one. I am at Y Combinator's demo day. I've been literally wanting to come to this for three years, ever since I started at TechCrunch. There's been six of them, and I finally got that invite, and now I'm here. So I'm gonna check it out, and I'll take you with me on this experience. Hope you enjoy it. Lots of Teslas and fancy cars in this parking lot. My 2004 Prius fit in perfectly. <laughs> Got yourself, uh, got yourself a self-driving tractor. Hey, so we're stuck in this line, but you think we can just sneak to the front? <laughs> you think we can we just sneak to the front, the Megan? They're pretty strict with what I, what I can show and what I can't show in here. There's some stuff that's off the record, which I can't show any of that. And then I can't show any of the presentations themselves, but they've allowed me to show like little montages, little snippets here and there. Otherwise, I'll do my best to show you as much as I can. And they're not used to having that kind of mentality at all, so. <laughs> Yo! What's up, Tito? How you doing, man? I'm doing good. It's good to see you. <laughs> the, one, the one and only. What's up, man? I'm just uh, sitting out on screen. How are you? Great. Hey, is this, is this your first demo day? Or is this it's your my second? My second demo day. Dude, so you went from Y Combinator, you presented, alumni, Seven and, now years you, ago. and now you're a partner, now and this I'm is back. your second one? Yeah, it's exciting to be back. Um, YC's grown a little bit since yeah. I went through it back in 2011. How many, um, how many people were there? We had about 40 companies in our batch, and, and now and we're up to over, 100, over 140. Dang. Yeah, it's pretty huge. How many companies in this batch do you work with personally? Do you help out? So the way YC works is we split the, the batch up into, a, into about um, five groups, and I work with 30 companies closely. Wow. So it's like a mini YC within YC. Who, do, who should we look out for? Who should we watch? I mean, you have your babies, right? You've got 140. You can't, you can't pick favorites with, you know, among your children. So <laughs> you got a lot. You got a lot of them. Awesome, man. Will yeah. do. Best of luck to all your companies. Thanks. And awesome seeing you in this new role. The program's about to begin. The program is about to begin. Please take your seats. Alright, so that's a lesson learned. It gets packed in here. How many companies do we see, Greg, right there? Maybe like, like 30, 20 40? So far. Really? It's maybe 30. <laughs> I don't know. It's a blur. Somewhere somewhere in there, but right now we're gonna take uh, they're taking a quick break and everyone's rushing to get some snacks. California dream and drink. So I had a sip of it and it's actually really tasty. It's it's a nice reasonable dosage. There's so many edibles and marijuana products that are just way too strong for normal people to ever take. They'll just be floored. And and when you drink it, do you actually get like a a little bit. A little high? Yeah. But it's like it's like meant to be like a beer, like it's yeah, it's like drinking a beer, but and how many high. how many hits are you taking at a time? Uh, I mean how many drinks? How are many you? drinks? Sorry. I drank one whole one. Okay. And time you before. felt and you felt it's comfy. comfy. Yeah, that's good. I think that's smart. I recommend it because so many of the the other like cannabis beverages, they're like it's like drinking a bottle of vodka. Like one bottle is ten doses, and it's just it's the same thing with edibles. Like people always want to nibble a little bit more, and they always expect it to hit sooner than it does, and then they get some pro they they, and they drink more, and then they get hit with it all at once, and it's way too strong. Yeah. So I think the idea of taking a like a classy brand, a reasonable dosage, and doing it in a, in a way that's designed. To 
to be an alternative to alcohol, I think is a, a it's good bet. It's interesting to think if there will be brands as big as like the alcohol brands. Like, are we going to see a whole new set of these like super valuable? Yeah, I'm still wondering who is going to make the like pre-rolled blunt that's sold that in has corner stores, yeah. right? I mean, it's like if you see things that are sold in every corner store around the world, yeah. like these low-quality cigars that people split open and put marijuana in. Have, haven't there, there always been there? Haven't there always been rumors that like Mar Marlboro or some like Philip Morris company is going up north and just buying a ton of land and stuff? I haven't to... heard that. I, I have definitely heard that, yeah. and that they're like basically poisoning themselves that once there's enough states or once they think that they don't risk their brand by moving into the business that they're just gonna buy up the farms turn it into real factory style and you'll probably end up with like the same kind of additives that we see in uh, in cigarettes that are designed yeah. to make people more addicted but classic Josh Constein classic Josh Constein hey but you know smoking old school now you gotta drink your weed right Sam it's a new thing here we go we gotta <laughs> go yeah we gotta, let me see it we got a bottle for, of it right here the uh, the California dreaming pomegranate cannabis infused beverage Hanging out with the one and only Mike Siebel. Is it Siebel or Seibel? Seibel. Take two. <laughs> Hanging out with the one and only Mike Seibel. How's it going, man? Great, great. We're so, happy to have you, man. Dude, I am so excited to be here. Nice. I mean, I think like half this vlog is going to be me gushing about like, oh, first demo day. <laughs> Exciting stuff. No How did worries. the first day go for you? It was good. A lot of good presentations. Companies practiced really well. Did really well. Can't complain. They're out fundraising right now. What happens now? Uh, mm -hmm. So all these companies have come on, they presented, yep. and then what's the goal here? So one of the cool things about YC is the software we have. All the investors in the crowd actually are using our software, and as the companies present, they're able to click the like button, and that button basically transmits their information, their content information, um, to the companies. Mm -hmm. And that's how folks make connections afterwards and arrange meetings. And then we also have this thing called Investor Day, where um, the investors can actually stack rank the companies they like, the founders can do the same, and then on Wednesday we arrange about a thousand meetings between our companies and investors. And so uh, we try to get rid of all of the intro meetings in one day, and then they can basically engage in the secondary meetings, follow up, and try to raise money. Yeah. Now, now you guys coach from like, uh, for the, the, I don't know. It's, I, I think yeah, it's coaching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you guys are like yeah. coaching, helping, mentoring, yeah. doing whatever. All of the above. Yes. You know, and then uh, when they get to that point of like money, is this a good deal? Is this not a good deal? Who yeah. to go with? Do you guys even help with that process? Yeah. So I'm actually working uh, with an old friend of mine named Gustav. Uh, this batch. He's a, a new partner at YC. And it was his idea actually for us to be on uh, WhatsApp with every single company in our group. Mm -hmm. So I actually have 30 companies in my WhatsApp asking me questions <laughs> <laughs> about all kinds of stuff. <laughs> I mean, but they're doing that because you've been through it multiple times. Been through it multiple times and helped, I mean, I don't even know how many companies I've seen in the last three and a half years. Yeah. Helped a lot of companies fundraise, so yeah. But mostly, I mean, we've got good investors here. They treat our companies right. They're not, you know, they're not assholes. Awesome. So, uh, and, you know. and this is the what year of YC and, and, and how many classes or this what is, is it, batches? This is the 26th batch. 26th batch. Yeah, 13 years. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> the, the thing that I like doing is uh, I have no money, right? But I'm out there and I'm like, if I did, which, nice. which ones do I like, right? Yeah. Which, like you're almost making like yourself like a scorecard yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Which I'll never tell you what they are because I, <laughs> I don't want anybody. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. This is like, for us too, remember we ran admissions in October and November. Yeah. So this has been you know six month journey, and to see how far these companies come, it's like pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive. That's fascinating stuff. All right. Well, uh, dude. day two is tomorrow. All right. Maybe we'll talk again then. Dude, thanks for having me, man. Dude, you're the best. Cheers. Thank see you. See you later. <laughs> so I had this whole fancy transition plan from day one to day two of demo day, but files corrupted, and so here's just a graphic on the screen saying day two of YC demo day. But uh, good stuff. What's today? Yesterday was a certain type of company and then today is more like enterprise? It's still a mix. I think today is more enterprise than yesterday was, but it's still gonna be a little bit of a mix. All right, cool. And you'll see them all. Quick glimpses in this montage.
right, yeah, first no, break no. of the day so far. Good stuff. It's funny when you when you watch so many. I saw them all, but I forget every single one. <laughs> but I take notes throughout, so it's good. It tastes like spa water. So fancy. Let me to steal you a chair from someone? Nah, okay. The first break of the day is almost over, and now more pitches. Yeah, I'm recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hope you enjoyed that uh, sweet little montage, walking around, checking some stuff out. Dude, what up? <laughs> what up, Snapchat? What up, dude? How dude, you doing, man? Good to see you. Good to what see are we doing you, here? baby. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. What you you know Bobby? Was your thing off the record? No, it's not off the record. Are you, you going to write about it? What's up? Are you writing? I'm not writing. I'm making a video. Make a video about it. All right. I, we have Atrium. See? You yeah. should use it. It's awesome. Thank you. That's, <laughs> okay, that's, see ya. That's my whole thing. Bye. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, the rest of the show is about to begin. I think this is the last segment, actually. I'm not sure. I've lost track of time and how many companies have gone. But riveting, riveting stuff. YC Winter Demo Day 2018. What'd you guys think? Come on, give me some love. Give me I just like a little startups. bit. I like startups. These were these were startups. All right. Well, that was some in in depth. <laughs> we wrote about every single one, and you can read about it on TechCrunch.com. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'll see ya. For the first demo day that I've ever attended, I think it was a smashing success. It was fun, entertaining, super educational. And great to see all these different companies, different industries present. It's like high quality stuff. It's crazy to see like the whole freaking ecosystem and like under one roof. All these people that you write about, talk about, you make videos about, you read about, and then they're all just like walking around like normal human beings among among the muggles. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's over. Hey, everyone's hanging out, eating some food, investing bunches of monies in companies. Alright, and from me, see you next time. Bye, Mom. <laughs> <laughs>